You right, everyone, welcome back to the Hammer and Talk 2 YouTube channel. Now, I know normally I keep my West Ham content on the first main channel, but I wanted to do one for this second channel because I want everyone to know how I feel right now about David Sullivan, Golden Brady. Now, the club have just released a statement on their website, okay? I'm going to read it out to everyone on here, yeah? I've got it behind the camera, so I'm just going to say what it says on the club statement website. Um, what they've released is, it says, West Ham United have immediately um, launched a full and thorough investigation into the incidents which marred the second half of today's match and are committed to taking decisive and appropriate action. Um, an emergency meeting has been called with all London Stadium stakeholders. Um, and there will be no further comment at this time. Now, when they say, obviously, that they're going to do appropriate action, I'm assuming that means they're going to find and identify the people that came on the pitch. They're going to give them lifetime bans. They're going to give the old school, you know, the uh, let's make a, let's set an example of these fans type of uh, punishment, if you like, to try to scare the rest of us off the pitch. This is what I think they're going to do. But for me, I've got to say that I, I think they're going to go into, by the way, also, they're going to be speaking about the London Stadium security because of the fact is there was some of them that was being filmed. Well, there was one specific guy that was filmed actually asleep during the game. He was falling asleep wherever the place, one of the security guards. Um, there was people not even looking towards the game at all. There was When there was people on the pitch, there was people that wasn't even going onto the pitch stewards that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're meant to be there to remove anything. That's the whole reason why they ran there. But given that slim chance that a fan does, you know, go onto the pitch, invade it. Um, but none of them did. It ended up being Mark Noble that got the brunt of it. Uh, that he ended up having to get the guy and push him out or whatever. And, you know, eventually a couple of people came on. But the security was absolutely shocking. And I think David Sullivan is going to aim a lot of his uh, anger, I suppose, and frustration at the security of the London Stadium, the way it operated with the security and the stewards, that the fact is they, they wasn't alert enough or there wasn't enough numbers. I, I don't know what it is, but either way... I feel like his anger is going to be thrown this time, or his blame is going to be thrown on the London operators, you know, the London Stadium operation. Now, this is previous, you've got, you've got to remember that David Sullivan previously has blamed it on the players that apparently that his sons have said that it, they begged him not to sign, like Snodgrass and Font. They begged him not to sign him. He's also blamed it on the fans because we're, we're not united. We're not, we're not together. We're not behind the squad enough. You know, we're not showing unity. Now, he's blamed players, he's blamed the fans, and now he's going to blame the stadium operators. Now, when is David Sullivan going to turn around, right, look in the mirror and start to blame himself? When is he, is he ever going to do that? Blame himself because it's his fault. It's your fault, Dave. It's your fault this whole club is going downhill. It's going to pop because of you, Brady, and Gold. That's why. Yeah, we've all got... Well, mo well, I say the majority of us have got a soft spot for Gold. I certainly have. But it's still all three of you. You're all still guilty of sin. Definitely, definitely. You know, and you need to take responsibility. And you need to say it's your fault. Yous have done wrong. Not the fans. No way, not the fans at all. Not the players. Yeah, the players have the players ain't un the players are underperforming. You know, but when players know that the money's not being spent, you know, it gets to them as well. And you're blaming the players as well. You're blaming stadium operators. You know, it's your fault. It's your it's your club, isn't it? It's your football club. West Ham is yours, isn't it, David Sullivan? You know, it should be yours to look after. Take responsibility. You know, this thing is only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse at West Ham. I can only see it getting worse. Hopefully it don't. Fingers crossed it doesn't get worse. But I can only see it getting worse. You know, there was a, there was a game in, I don't know if it was the Mexican League or the Portuguese, I don't know, or maybe the uh, Netherlands, somewhere across the world, where all the fans came and jumped on the pitch. There was loads of them. And in the end, you could see that the security, they didn't even bother because when, when, when a few fan when it becomes a certain amount, of fans that run onto the pitch, you know, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, they can all be controlled. When it starts to get 20, 30, 40 people start to come on the pitch and there's still more coming on, they've got no chance. And all they can do is run around and pretend they're grabbing people. 
You know, they can't, they haven't got control of the situation, these guards and stuff. They haven't. Um, and I feel like that, that might maybe end up being the next step at West Ham United. I feel like it could be a full pitch invasion. Hopefully, or hopefully not, because so much negative press. I just want to, you know, I liked personally the, the protest inside the stadium when everyone was standing up to the board and they was all pointing at the director's box, all shouting and screaming, you know, all singing the songs. I, I loved every single bit of that. It made me so, so proud it did. Um, obviously, the part of the whole pitch invasion bit, that didn't really make me so proud when they was coming onto the pitch and picking up corner flags. I don't really agree with that. I think that's the footballer's professional you know, working area. I don't think you should, but, you know, I mean, maybe there's a time and a place to do it. Maybe it's at the end of the game. Maybe it's before the game, before it starts. But then if it happens before the game, the game will never kick off, I don't think. I don't think they can remove 50,000 fans from the West Ham Stadium. I don't think it could happen. But yeah, I just wanted to say that David Sullivan needs to take responsibility. It's his fault. No one else's. Stop blaming everyone else, David Sullivan. I want to know everyone else's faults as well. What, whose fault? Please tell me. Please tell me you agree that it's Sullivan's. Please. It's not our fans' fault. It's not our ball. It's not our, um, yeah, our stadium operator's fault. It's not our players' fault. It's not. It's so David Sullivan. You know, he's the one that can change everything at this club and chooses not to. Blames everyone else. But anyway, people, I'm gone for now. Comment, like, subscribe, and as always, keep sharing my stuff. I'll see you all later.